Ready? High five. That's a good girl. <laughs>another video my name is Lily and today we're going thrifting I have not yet jumped on the bandwagon I know this is kind of like an old trend people used to do it yonks ago I swear but I don't know I just felt like op shopping I need some new pots for my plants I want to grab a couple steels a couple men's t-shirts I just want to have a look around and I thought it'd be fun to bring you guys along but first we're gonna get some coffee and some breakfast from my favorite place Zarath Please place it on your ready. Hi, could I please have a mocha frappe, please? Thank you. Does anyone else get super scared in the drive through Like, did I bring my wallet? Because I'm always worried I'm going to drive up to the window. Be like, hi, I just ordered food. You made it. And I don't have my wallet with me. I have my breakfast. Oh my god, I'm so excited to eat this. So last night, I knew I had to wake up early to film this video, so I was like, in bed at 8.30. And then it got to 12 o'clock, and I still wasn't asleep. You know when you try so hard to be a good girl? You try to go to bed early, but your body clock's just like, nah. Nah. And now I have the biggest bags under my eyes. I also have genetic bags. My, like, under eyes are always purple. I met a new friend the other day, and even they noticed. I didn't think my under eye bags were that noticeable. She told my friend when I left, oh, Lily's a lovely girl, but... Does she get much sleep? <laughs> Needless to say, I have been wearing a lot more concealer since that day. <laughs> All right, so the first shop we're going into is Salvo's. And there's three old ladies in the car next to me, so I think I came on pension a day, maybe. <laughs> no offense, I love old ladies, they're so cute. I also do need to address, I will not be wearing a mask. I live in Australia, New South Wales, and there are zero COVID cases where I live. And it's not illegal to wear no mask. So let's go. So after having a look around the homeware and all the clothes sections, including the men's sections, I had some finds. Now hear me out with a different shirt. <laughs> I'm getting this, I'm getting it. I also found this green woolly zip, but I just don't think I'd wear it. She had no right to look this cute. Okay, this is so cute. It says size 10, and I think it means child size 10 because it did not fit. Okay, but look at what I just found. Check the men's section. So, first door was a big, big success. I got too much um, but there was this beautiful like little step stool thing um, and I was gonna get it but it was already sold so I was really upset about that because that was an amazing find I'll show you the little trinkets I got I'll do a haul of the clothes when I get home but I got this little tree look how cute it is it's like a jewelry holder for your rings and then like the earrings I thought she was a gem this again is another little jewelry holder but look at the beautiful like detail in it I love it it was like three dollars and then I got this pot for 50 50 cents and I thought it looked cute with my little cactus in it. They didn't have a lot of pots in that store which was what I was probably most upset about. And now my frappe is just liquidized but it was worth it for the fines. <laughs> so I think our game plan for the next couple stores is to focus on homeware because I bought a lot of clothes at the last place. And I still have a couple more shops to go. But mind you, everything I got at the last store cost me $50. This shirt probably cost me $50. I actually didn't. I know everyone's actually going to ask me where I got this from. I got this from Cheap. It's a store at Katara Westfield in New Newcastle. I also got this shirt from there which a lot of people asked about. So if you're from Newcastle you know Beaumont Street and I'm on here right now and the local church I think is having a little garage sale. There's heaps of like vinnies and op shops on Beaumont Street but the church usually isn't one. She looks promising. You're kidding. I'm getting one, I have to. So they only took cash in there and I only had $8 cash with me. And I got three frames and a shirt. But I really want one of those small plants for $2. I've actually got a couple messages from you guys asking where I get my frames. I get them all from op shops because they're just cheaper and don't. <laughs> Oh, he was about to run into my car. You did not need to reverse that much, buddy. <laughs> so the next store we're going into is the Australian Red Cross, which I think is more selective of their clothing than like salvos and bitties. So I'll see. This bag, it just reminded me too much of like a horse girl. Like pony club, saddle club vibes. Does anyone remember that show? That was my childhood. That was the shit. And then this green shirt. It just reminded me too much of like pharmacy vibes. I felt like I was a pharmacist. And then I saw this bag and I was like, oh, she cute or whatever. And then I was like, oh, look at the price. She's not so cute. I 
I know that juice is like just has the same amount of sugar as a soft drink, but I do feel healthier drinking it. <laughs> okay, so the Australian Red Cross actually they hand pick the stuff so they don't take in shitty stuff that no one wants. So they had a limited selection, but holy shit. How cute is this? This was $40, so on the more expensive side. But it just gave me like hippie vibes. I needed a new handbag, mine is falling apart. And then I also got one, I got a cord throw on jacket, but I will show you that in my haul at home. I found another cell though, so ta-da. So we'll go in here because I can see some pots. So I also got a lot of messages asking where I got all my records that are on my wall. I got them all from op shops and they sell them for like a dollar each. All these boxes are full of records. And then when you put the record on the wall, you can use the cool artwork on the front and stick it on your wall too. It's a CD shelf, but I thought if you put a plant in each little spot, like imagine a little plant in each spot. That looks so cute, but my, my room doesn't have any room for it. I'm definitely coming back to this store when I'm doing up my sister's room because there's a couple pieces of furniture that I think would look so cute in like the office vibe I'm going for. Holy shit, this is so cute. Oh, I really want this, but I don't need it, but I really want it. So I got this little purse, which I thought could be cute for like some of my clothing hauls cause, because I need to get a little bit better at them. And when I see other people doing them, they're styling it with like purses and earrings and jewelry. And I just never have enough. I had one handbag at home and it was $4. So I was like, great for styling videos. Then I got these trinket trays. I think with this one, I'm actually gonna use it as a pot. I know this is weird. Imagine this, soil in it, two cactuses coming out of the top. I don't know, I don't know, but I think I'm onto something. And then I got this, it's $2, $2. I'm gonna put my little like rings and necklaces in that. So I'm just about to deliver a muffin to my friend because she said she was having a bad day. So I'm just gonna drop it at her door because random acts of kindness and if someone's having a bad day and you have time to drop them a muffin, drop them a muffin. Um, if you would like a part two to this video, I will definitely be up for that because I think I realized today there are so many op shops in Newcastle I didn't even know about. But I think I'm all op shopped out, so let's go home and try all the clothes on. I just started to get pains in my stomach. I thought, I'm not on my period. Why am I getting cramps? And then I remembered I had a coffee this morning. <sighs> I need a toilet. Quite soon. <laughs> I think I just realized how much I bought. The fact I can't take it up in one trip. I'm one of those people who will like have no hands free because I don't want to take two trips because two trips are for awesome. <laughs> This all isn't going up in one bag. I found these boxes in my car and I'm going to put all the clothes in it. Just put this. The man has to do two trips. Although, no. I just got home and Mindy's been home alone all day, so I'm giving her a treat. So she gets a treat. Yes. Is it yummy? Did you get out of it? Go that way. Go that way. So let's see what we got. Tell. Thank you for that, Mindy. So first up we have my favorite find of the day, which was this bomber jacket. I think that's what they call them. And it's got all these cool, like different colors on it. This is in the men's section. So make sure you always check the men's section. And she was 10 bucks. Then next up we have this like Christmas sweater that I thought was so cute. It never really gets that cold in Australia, but it was $6. Next, I got this linen button up. Next. <laughs> Why are you so skitty? I thought it could be good to throw over some swimmers. And then we have this baby blue long sleeve v-neck shirt. It reminds me of kind of like a Rachel Green little outfit. I thought, cause the V is very low, I'd put a white singlet underneath and wear it with some like black jeans. Then I got another like corduroy men's button up and I thought this could be nice to throw over like a black dress. I like these as a throw over jacket. Then I got this, which reminds me, it's so 90s vibes. It's like this kind of meshy material almost. And I can imagine wearing this with like my white little tennis skirt. Then we have this gem of a jacket. I think this is in the men's section as well. Green corduroy jacket. 
And the last clothing item we have is this skirt. Now she's long, so we're gonna crop it. So now let's thrift flip. That's hard to say. Thrift flip, thrift flip. Try saying that 10 times fast. Thrift flip, thrift flip, flip. Are you really gonna sit there? So the first item we're gonna do is this skirt. What do you want? Now always cut a little bit less than you think because you can always cut more. Don't you love it when YouTubers label their title thrift flip but they, they just cut things, they just crop things. I am said YouTuber. <laughs> Mindy, stop it. I have to concentrate. It looks cute. Let's put it on. Are you, are you perfect on me, Min? Okay, but this is actually cute. Look at this. Good find. I might cut a little bit more off, but well done. I am patting myself on the back for that find. We did good, me. All right, the skirt is done. So the next thing we're going to, excuse me, don't touch that. So the next thing we are going to thrift flip is actually my merch. <laughs> It says sweet as your soul and me and my managers and my designers put so much work into this and so much love into this. There was multiple designs that went into consideration but this was the end product. So my merch is now available and you can click, clink, clink, clink and you can click the link in the description to grab yourself one of these. I wanted to make my merch look not merch like. I didn't want to just have my name on the front. So I chose the words sweet as your soul. I chose these words because I think that we should all be a little bit sweeter to ourselves and kinder to ourselves. We chose the design with the hand holding the heart because the heart represents the soul and it's dripping in honey because your soul is sweet. So these shirts are actually made out of bamboo because I wanted to make my merch as sustainable as possible and every t-shirt that is sold is sent out in environmentally friendly packaging. Packaging. No plastic. So my merch actually comes as a full-length t-shirt because although I would have liked it cropped like this It would have costed three extra dollars per t-shirt just to crop it and the material on the bottom would have been wasted So it kind of defeated the purpose of the organic tea and the whole reason I did the organic tea was to be Environmentally friendly and if we're just cutting off fabric for no reason and make you pay more for less fabric I felt really weird about it. So it comes full length, but I like to tuck it in or tuck it up into my bra. But today we're going to crop it because I think it looks really cute cropped. And you can use the extra fabric on the bottom to make a scrunchie or to make a boob tube even. Okay, mean let's crop this shirt. Stop it. I'm working. You need to respect that. You know, you don't have to be here. You don't. So I'm gonna cut below where I think I want it. That's actually not too bad. That's not bad. Cut. Let's try her on. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Am I Emma Chamberlain yet? Honestly. Don't mind the shorts, but like. So if you'd like to purchase my merch, the link is in the description below. And I don't care if I sell one or I sell a million. Honestly, your support means the world to me. And I really hope you like what I've created for you guys. I am so, so, so excited to see how you guys style this. So if you buy my merch, please tag me in a story or a post of you wearing it. I would love to see. Let me know if you cropped it. Let me know if you like to tuck it in or wear it out. I honestly can't wait for you guys to get your hands on this. But without further ado, that's the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see a part two of me op shopping I would love to do that there were so many shops I couldn't get to today and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below I will see you next week Saturday at 4 p.m. bye